Hello and welcome back to JLXP. It has been a while since the last episode, but we are back here in Korea at Worlds. We're going to be able to bring you weekly episodes throughout the entire World Championship. Follow a lot of the NA teams and also some of the worlds from hopefully the NA fans perspective to give the LCS fans a little bit more access to the World Championship. This episode, I'm getting a chance to talk to contracts, what it felt like to win the finals, and we actually talk with NRG, what it's been like being here in Korea, scrimming, solo queuing, and ultimately preparing for the World Championship. How's it going? Good. Good to How see are you, you doing? Pretty good. Thanks for coming. Appreciate that. Looking at at this year in particular, it was so shocking that Energy won before the playoffs. We have these prep documents where we look at a bunch of stats throughout the year and in playoffs, and it almost looked like the Energy in the regular season was like a completely different team than the team in playoffs. Like every stat across the board just went up, especially your early game was just so dominant. Uh, I don't know. I, I actually haven't asked you. Like, how do you feel now? What is it? Like, almost two months after winning? It feels crazy. I mean, definitely, like, when you told me with that I'd win this split when we were, like, three and seven, I don't think I would have yeah. believed you. But. <laughs> <laughs> oh, ye of little faith, why do you doubt? Let's fucking go! Let's fucking go! One thing that I see about energy when I look at some of the stats is, especially in playoffs, you had just really strong, explosive early games. So, yeah, I mean, I think our early games in NA were like pretty good, but even those early games aren't enough to really combat the, the Asian teams, I feel. Yeah. So basically, when you go through an early game, you go through like the steps, right? You go through yeah. like who can get Dove, who gets Prow. Um, you know, where you need to path if you're going to get invaded. Yeah. Do you do the checklist with your laners where you're just asking, like, who gets pushed? Yeah. You like, basically see who gets prial, yeah. just all that jazz. And, like, it feels like the Asian teams just take it, like, a step further. Like, okay. they just think of, like, more opportunities than I wouldn't even have imagined. And they just make really consistent plans. And I've had to level up my early game, or, like, just as a team, we've had to level up early game even more. So, yeah. <sighs> Were there, I mean, I'm sure this probably happened, but you ask who gets prio and then the game happens and then just nobody has prio. Yeah, it's right. happened before. Obviously, it's like, you know, they're also learning their, their lane matchups. They're like learning the matchups. Like, well, actually, so haven't played against NA, this guy's jacks before. In NA, I would get prio here, but this guy's a little bit better. <laughs> yeah. Dokla. Oh, we're filming, by the way. Oh, Don't yeah. worry about it. I saw you were playing Aram. I was. Croissant told me you were three Arams deep. I was a three Arams deep. And, and this is an Aram. Yeah, you don't have to survive as a pro. That's true. Cross training is really important. Yeah. You know, with athletes. This is my crosshair and then I mean, people shy. can't even see the screen, so you could be playing in my candy crush. Yeah. yeah. The first two days are going to be so nuts. Yeah. Because if you, so let's say you beat, like, let's just say, like, crazy scenario. You beat Weibo. Not that crazy. Not, so not, the other the crazy? other scenario is crazy. Yeah, why would you say that's yeah. crazy? The other scenario is crazy. Is then C9 mad. Let's just say, like C9 beats mad. Yeah. You could get drawn against C9. You beat them. Oh, and you're already two zero. And, and then you're already two zero. And then you have three tries to win a best of three. Right, right. To get through. Anybody for press if you if you oh. want to go? Oh, uh, fine. optional. Uh, it's optional. Uh, like, sure. Kind of <laughs> All right. See you, man. <laughs> The first couple of weeks, I was kind of acclimating and trying to find my routine. Mm -hmm. I think I kind of was playing too many games and not taking care of my health enough. How many go. games is too many games? Somewhere in between 12 and 15, obviously. Okay. It's not like crazy. Yeah. I definitely should have started off a little bit slower, I think, but uh, I'm finding my groove in things now. So. Yeah. So I saw this solo queue tweet. You have the most, aside from, I think, Yawn or, or APA, 
But you're like almost 15 games in. Yeah. And the contract's called you a demon. A little bit. Well, actually, man, I was like 800 LP two yeah. or three weeks into the boot camp, and then yeah. I was only sleeping like four or five hours a day. And I went down 300 LP, and the second yeah. I take a break, I instantly remember I go up to like The second you slept, you know, like human hours. Yeah. So you have energy. I instantly went up to 700 LP again. How do you feel like it's gonna go? Uh, worlds? Yeah. Sometimes we're getting smashed in scrims, yeah. but sometimes we're smashing in scrims. So yeah. it's like, what do you what do you do at that point? You know, it's like what's the what's the best scrim set you've had against like a Chinese or green team? Um, I think it was like three three, but it's like the three three where you should win like every oh yeah or like yeah, yeah. not every game actually we we should have lost one no matter what but we should have won like five or two more games so five yeah. and one mm -hmm. but uh. Yeah, I'm so sad. Actually, Weibo is or it's so hard. Weibo is so hard. Well, okay. I have heard this that they you had like a bad day of scrims. It was also your first day against. Like, yeah, it was our teams. very first day against. Yeah. Teams, yeah, and they just smashed you probably. Yeah. Oh, you got your photos. I think that it's really important to have newer players at Worlds because let's yeah. say if like Bjergsen or Jensen gets like smashed one year, they yeah. always have it in the back of their mind that like. Oh yeah, like yeah, they're so like it's, ignorance is bliss type thing. Like yeah. you can just go in there Ignor and play. It, it truly is like yeah. that way. That's why it makes me excited. Like APA is here. I think realistically he'll probably like he has some like really big weaknesses in his play. Yeah. But depending on how scrims it went, like he might have shortened. He's also possibly really confident. Uh, which one? Uh, there's some games in like pro play where you'll literally just get blown out from like early game and mm -hmm. that's not really something you learn in solo queue unless yeah. you're like that's why, that's why I was like a bit excited for Jojo. It's because yeah, he's yeah. more like he's consistent. So strong lane. Yeah. Did your optional interview request come through? No. They, they don't care. They just said, they just came in the room and were like, oh, your, your interview's canceled. Oh, my God. And he kind of laughed on the way out. He was like, he, he even knew it was funny too. <laughs> yeah. Waiting for nothing. Yeah. It's whatever, you know, you're playing the shy in a couple of days, it's fine. Yeah. But legitimately though, like, that's actually, I saw, it's like a Reddit call or something, like Doku versus the shy. That is like a fun matchup. Yeah, that's pretty exciting. Because he might, he might just run down. And you can get like six solo kills. Yeah. We did screw him once. Yeah. I'll say, he's really good at like, harassing you at tower. Like weaving in and out of right. tower range. Yeah. And so you did get soul killed a couple of times. Well, there you go. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It just it just happens on stage. It just happens on stage. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Camera. I want to get your final thoughts on your expectations going into this world championship. I mean, firstly, I do want to do it for myself and my team. Just put on a good performance that, you know, we can be proud of as people and as players. But I think, like, just the community perspective of, like, over the years of, like, NA. Yeah. I feel like I just want to do it for NA, man. Like, oh, my God. Yeah. Yes. I really want to do yeah. it for NA. Like, people have been looking down on us for so long. Obviously, we haven't performed well, but, mm -hmm. I mean... I want nothing more than to just make people proud of NA, you know? I want yeah. I want the region I'm playing in to be like something worth watching, worth, you know, rooting for. Yep. You know, we can do it without any of the fans, so I feel like I just want to go out there and just put on a, you know, a good performance for all the fans. Oh yeah, man. Appreciate that. Good luck. I, thank uh, you, thank you. I hope you do it too. Thank you, thank you. Me too. <laughs> Yeah, so 